Hello, and welcome to another episode of Five O'Clock Tales. I'm Molly Wellman, and I'm here to show you another great classic cocktail that you can make at home. For this episode, I wanted to show you my favorite champagne drink. It happens to be the airmail cocktail, and this one dates back to the 1930s in Cuba. Now, I think they probably made this drink to kind of commemorate Cuba's uh, airmail, you know, that was going on. But what I'm always inspired by is a story out of Cincinnati in the 1830s, a guy named John Clayton. Now, John Clayton lived in Cincinnati and he had a shop down on uh, like 4th and Main. And he was a silversmith and a clockmaker and a jeweler, and he did really, really well. But his passion didn't lie in silversmithing. It lied in hot air ballooning. He was an aeronaut and he would take his hot air balloon and uh, do these grand events in Cincinnati where he would lift off and he would give flyers out so people would come and watch and everything. And uh, he did quite a few flights. One particular flight, he lifted off from this kind of coliseum that was located at Elm and Court Street back in, in the 1830s. And um, it was on the 4th of July, 1835. And he decided to try to bring the first um, airmail, this first package by, by hot air balloon to the East Coast in a matter of, you know, days rather than weeks and months it would take back at that time to get a package out East. So he lifted off and it was a big to do. He had his, all his provisions, all of his equipment, the package and his dog to, um, liven up and to kind of, uh, you know, gives some excitement to the event. He actually threw his dog over the side of the balloon in a parachute and it parachuted down and landed safely. The dog was fine, don't worry. Well, he, you know, flew for a good couple of hours, making good time. He eventually got stuck in a tree in West Virginia though, at a place called Neely's Knob. Because you know, in West Virginia, they don't have mountains, they have knobs and, and hollers. <laughs> Anyway, he got stuck on the knob and um, his balloon got stuck in a tree and he had to go and find somebody to help him get it out of the tree. Uh, he ended up sending the air, the package uh, to the East Coast by stagecoach and put his, um, you know, ruined balloon back on a steamship back to Cincinnati. But it was the first unofficial air mail in the United States it was from Cincinnati and John Clayton. And what's kind of funny is right in that um, town in West Virginia, they named the post office Clayton Post Office. So there you go. I think this is a cool, cool story, but the drink is even better. So let's get to the drink. I know you all are thirsty. I know that was a long story, but it's really cool, I think. So the first thing you're going to need, you're going to need a cocktail glass. You can use a cocktail glass or you can use a flute for this one if you have flutes. Um, I like to use cocktail glasses rather than flutes. Flutes are not my favorite. Uh, you're going to need uh, some rum. <laughs> We're going to use some Appleton Jamaican rum, uh, some lime juice, some fresh lime juice, and some honey syrup. Now, honey syrup is really easy to make. I call it runny honey. You don't want to put, when you're making a cocktail with honey, you don't want to just take your bare honey bear <laughs> and squeeze it into your shaker. You'll just get a glob of honey in the bottom. It won't mix. It'll just kind of be this gummy pile in the bottom of your shaker. So you want to make it a little more runny by adding water. So I use one part water, one part honey. Some other people might use different um, uh, recipe for that, but this works really well for me and for this cocktail. So uh, hot water is what you want to use. Hot water and honey, stir it up, shake it up, uh, just get it all mixed up so it becomes a more liquid consistency. All right in your shaker. Oh, you're going to want some champagne too. Oh my goodness. We're doing a champagne cocktail. So any kind of dry sparkling will do a Prosecco, uh, you know, a California sparkling, anything like that. If you're not a champagne fan, you can use sparkling water, but really the champagne really does the trick for this one. So in your uh, glass, you are going to want to add one and a half ounces of your rum. Okay, and then half ounce, gosh, that rum smells so good. Half ounce of your runny honey, and then a half ounce of your lime juice. All right, add some ice. I like to chill my champagne uh, cocktails. 
And since there's juice and syrup in this, you definitely want to shake it. Shake it. Nice and cold. All right, there we go. And then um, strain this, where's my strainer? There it is. Strain this right into your cocktail glass. Now make sure to leave some room at the top because we're gonna top this off with um, some champagne. So that should do it. A Little bit of room. And then when you're opening champagne, um, make sure that you hold your thumb over the cork. <laughs> Point it away from people so you don't kill anyone. Um, and then twist this, it should be six times to open up the, um, the little gate here, the little cage. Um, six times and it should be, I think, counterclockwise. Yeah, counterclockwise. When you're opening, you want to hold the cork and twist the bottle very slowly. And boom, they're out. Now you have a party, see? <laughs> Don't you just love that sound? All right, top this off very carefully with your champagne. Oh, that's beautiful. Don't let it, don't let it foam over. <laughs> and there you have it, the airmail cocktail from the 1930s. But I always think of Cincinnati in the 1830s, well, because I'm weird and I like to go back in time. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying this. I hope you're enjoying this cocktail video uh, and all the videos. Um, if you do, please feel free to get, leave us a tip on my Venmo or our GoFundMe page. And I thank you so, so very much. Cheers, everyone.